even says restricted for youth only, indicating for the illegal uh, children, mm -hmm. illegal uh, youth immigrants. Also, there's we saw about two uh, 18 wheeler trailers from HEB that are likely there providing food. And for uh, people who don't know who aren't from Texas, HEB is a, uh, a grocery store. Go ahead, kid. Yes. And uh, also, I've got some footage of, of several uh, loads of trash. Um, the, the back up, the, uh, I talked to the Lackland Public Affairs. They told me that they were not on the lead on this uh, housing these immigrants. They Folks, the, the full Department of Health video Health. report is up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. Go see the whole thing. This is footage I don't want you to see. It's on InfoWars.com. We'll be right back with Congressman Ron Paul, the premiere of an exclusive interview we did that Kit Daniels, you just heard, did a couple of weeks ago. We're going to premiere it here, InfoWars.com forward slash show for the free feeds. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex in the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis, InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I could take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are some and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. 
Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Don't tread on me. Love it or leave it. Well, actually, if you're a socialist or you'll vote for the Democrats, over 90% of new illegal immigrants that get the fake IDs or get state IDs that vote, you look it up, vote, take our guns, vote with government, because it's the one buying them off with our tax money. So uh, we've been breaking that down today, but there's another facet of this brainwashing. It's that state-run media and state-run education through Common Core is now getting direct access to even private school children if you're, quote, an accredited school. And so we had a chance to interview Ron Paul. I usually interview Ron Paul. I think he's on the show next week live with us. But Kit Daniels for InfoWars Nightly News was able to uh, interview Ron Paul uh, on the subject of Common Core and a bunch of other issues. And so I thought, why not just premiere this on the radio uh, instead of the nightly news? So uh, we're going to air it in this segment and the next, and then I'm going to come back and get into some other news in the final segment on this Sunday edition. Um, but here is former Congressman Ron Paul, Dr. Paul, the omnibudsman of the libertarian revolution, speaking to InfoWars when Kit asked him about Common Core. Well, the whole thing is, is Common Core is an example of how the federal government wants to take over totally and completely the educational system. And they've been doing this for a long time. I mean, for more than 50 years, they've uh, encroached upon control of local schools with the federal government getting involved back even into the 50s with the Department of Education, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, HEW being established. And the Common Core is the really the last straw, and the people are very upset for it because they want to set the um, standard for the curriculum for every single school, which means control, you know, over the individual education of all the children. At the same time, we hear our president constantly saying, well, we got to get the hell to these kids sooner. So it's not just grade school and high school and pre, you know, uh, kindergarten. It's pre-kindergarten down to three and four years old. It's once again establishing and sticking to the principle that the children belong to the government, not to the parents. And uh, anybody who cares about, uh, you know, truth in education and not a monolithic education by the central government, they have to be concerned about this. And yet, unfortunately, it's marching right along and too many schools are going along with it. So it, it is one common feature that's really upsetting a lot of people once they find out about it. Of course, the people already who have been upset with education for many years who are already in private schools and homeschooling know about it. There's a lot of people, you know, just don't have the opportunity or the uh, knowledge on how to get out of the public school system. So they're going to get exposed. I think it's going to be devastating. It's the wrong way to go. Now, Dr. Paul, uh, do you feel that politicians can use Common Core in order to prey on the ignorance of the public? Yeah, I think that's that's a good description about just about everything the government does, you know, whether it's the education or whether it's keeping people from falling through the cracks, whether it's taking care of medical care. It's everything that they are all wise and they will take care of us and people are stupid and they don't care and they're not responsible. And that's why you have to have government to take care of everybody and protect them from themselves. In this case, uh, we government argues that we have to do this to protect the children against the parents. The parents are irresponsible. So, uh, yes, I think it is. I, I, I believe uh, those who think they're superior want the, uh, want the population, the populace, to be as uh, obedient as possible. Uh, in case they uh, need to send them off to war, in case they want to have them work and pay taxes, the whole thing is is the state is sacred, and uh, it, it in order to have a state, the government, you know, continue to grow, it's always at the expense of liberty. So it is the, the big challenge. I think we're seeing a conflict between these two movements. Uh, 
governments have been around for as long as uh, history has been around. Uh, I think they've exhausted their experimentation, and uh, we've had some experiments with individual liberty. Uh, one great experiment was here, and I think right now we're seeing the fruitions of how we left that experiment in the last hundred years, and it continues, and yet there's a spirit right now among the people and, and so many parents who are starting to realize that. The unfortunate thing is that we're still in the minority, and the majority still feel the government has to take care of me because there's too many people out there that say, well, uh, you know, I have to do this, I have to vote for this person but because uh, they believe government should take care of me. So if I have trouble, the government's going to feed me, give me a, a job. Uh, uh, they're going to take care of my medical care, and they're going to educate me. And they have this total dependency. But what we're witnessing is the failure of that system, too. You know, our American system of uh, economics, of Keynesian economics and deficit financing, it's coming to an end. But, yes, those in government would like to dumb down the population to be obedient. It's been that way for a long, long time. Uh, over the many centuries, it's usually by uh, threats and intimidation. Now we do the threats and intimidation, but we also try to bribe people to go along. And as long as they do what we tell them, as long as the people do what they're told to do, then they um, believe they can get better treatment from the government. Senator Harry Reid declared that Clive and Bundy's supporters were domestic terrorists. And then today we find out that a White House counterterrorism chief suggested that that if your child is confrontational he could be a terrorist do you feel that this could tie into as government gets more and more involved with public education we see more and more radical talking points from politicians yes and and they have certainly in the last uh, you know 13 years since 9-11 taken advantage of this whole thing of, of terrorism all they have to do is announce Terrorism, terrorism, and the people are supposed to roll over and sacrifice all their liberties. And just think how much liberties we have given up in the last 13 years because we're always fighting terrorism. Even this, the recent history over in Ukraine, uh, the uh, Western Ukrainians were going in with their military to suppress the terrorists. They'll, they'll use that term any time they can. They went in and they were surprised that there weren't any terrorists there, and they actually backed down and uh, didn't even want to fight their fellow Ukrainians, so the, the, uh, the whole thing sort of fizzled. But uh, no, this is way overworked. Uh, it's to, it has conditioned us, uh, especially since the Bush administration, that we're in a perpetual war and it's always against terrorism, and terrorists can be any place in the world. The war never ends, and under war conditions, you have to sacrifice your liberties. So we're doing exactly what bin Laden was fighting for, was to bankrupt our country and destroy our constitutional rights here at home. So bin Laden, is uh, even from the grave, is still winning this fight. And, uh, and, and like you say, now they're even suggesting that uh, whether you support uh, – you know, landowners and individuals, uh, uh, you know, who are rant, who are doing ranching and uh, or people going to private schools and challenging the government. Ah, he, he's a terrorist. All right. Uh, they have to be called. Let's back it up right there. He's a terrorist. We're going to come back with a conclusion of this exclusive interview with former Congressman Ron Paul, who I think is as close to George Washington as anything in modern age. I mean, he really is a trailblazer coming from nowhere and revolutionizing things with the liberty movement. That's why you see all these libertarians like David Bratt and others winning in the primaries. It's really scaring the Republican and Democratic Party leadership. Uh, and notice it's in the news that al-Qaeda is taking over Iraq now. They were given a base three and a half years ago by Obama on record in western Iraq. Real al-Qaeda with Saudi Arabian backing to attack Syria. Now they're using the weapons to take over Iraq, and Obama says, we've got to invade Iraq again to stop al-Qaeda, and the public's so ignorant, they don't even know it's public that the Pentagon and NATO armed al-Qaeda. I mean, it's crazy, and then I'm treated like a terrorist as a suspect at the airport, and you are too. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against 
against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 